the uh, the whole uh, part of new, the old growth of Newport News, and I'm, I'm anxious to be a part of the town meeting, town hall meeting, because um, I come from a part of the town that I think that would love to be a, 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 a more of an included part in activities like this here, where uh, they would feel parts of what the city, the, 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 uh, the board is saying in one city, one future. There are a lot of uh, people that are concerned about problems, and, and uh, I, for one, I'm an advocate for no more guns in the city because we uh, we kind of uh, we kind of sell toy and replica guns. We kind of stimulate the idea that, to most of the children that guns are toys. So I'd like to help with the chief's help, see if what we can do to eliminate that. If we would kind of uh, get on the stores like uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar uh, Payment Dollar, all those places that sell. Uh, uh, guns, replica guns, uh, those super soakers, anything that kind of gives children the impression that guns are toys, to eliminate that. And then I also have another situation that would be very helpful. <clears throat> we live in a city that's dark and pretty much uh, like the whole of an attractive nuisance. We live in a, a, a part of a city where we could very well, we could give uh, some arborists, which are tree people, to cut trees away from the lights just to, uh, to help the city be illuminated on some streets to where a lot of the atmospheres in the areas that I live in are predatory. And trust me, predatory is already bad. But when you have predatory and then people that are wearing hoodies and doing all different kind of things to uh, jeopardize the police safety, doing what they're doing, any activity that people do, and I live in this every day. I'm around people to wear like I have, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a native of the city. Need and I question. enjoy, I question. okay, the question is, what can we do to help eliminate those toy guns sales in our city? Like we got rid of the uh, synthetic drugs, like the, uh, the, uh, the vape shops and all that kind of stuff there. Uh, we need help with that because that would help. Because children are under the pressure of guns or, or toys or guns. They're carrying stuff to school and that kind of gets into problems with that. Because any little toy replica guns can be made into a situation. Now the other part, how can we help with the situation of ex-offenders? who are an uh, uh, asset in our community that are well, that are yet to be developed. There are people that would love to help you do your job of community policing. If you knew how to communicate with them with a board, a panel on this side, people like me, and uh, people like law enforcement people on this side, with uh, the Commonwealth uh, 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 Wins help. There are people that would love to tell you things that you could help with, uh, with a lot of security in a quid pro, quid pro quo way to help make the city safe. Criminals then turn in turn almost do your job like you know you'd love to have some of their energies on your staff. But I don't represent them, but I know that there are people that we would do well to talk to if we can. How can we set in motion some things in the area of reconciliation, uh, helping people get re re uh, reintegrated back in the community, and ex offenders helping to become citizens all over again? How can we work with those two things? Thank you. Thank you. I had a lot of questions that you <laughs> I start with the first one, with, with the good news part of your first question. Uh, the city uh, council voted last meeting, I believe, that we are going to change the lighting in the city. And we're starting with some of the areas that you're talking about that are the most vulnerable, have the highest crime rates. So we're going to change the bulbs to a higher density bulb that will have better lighting. Part of that, I believe, will be uh, cutting the trees, too, so the light can be um, disperse okay, okay. So that is being done. It's about a three million dollar project, but we also found out that some of the bulbs, when we change, it will cost us less to keep those bulbs lit because of the new technology. So we're going for the older bulbs first. Um, the problem we have too is that we don't own, I think we don't own but uh, five percent of the light poles, so we've got to work with um, our energy <laughs> source people also to help us do that. But when we've ordered the fixtures, I think we've selected the type of fixture that we're going to replace them with, and that, that will be going on. It's probably a, a two-year process for the whole Yeah, thing. at least. We had some additional, we had some money that we were able to free up to start the lighting process, 